So obviously, I've only been role-playing as a young ruler would, throwing tumtrums and being all whiny about the realities of life. No, but really, I think um, it's important that I also upload videos where I'm not on my best, where things are not going my way, where I might have a really bad day, a really bad week, a really bad time, and it just seeps through into these gameplay videos. I know it's probably not the most enjoyable thing to watch. It might even be a little bit cringy because you feel like, wow, this this grown ass person is acting like a child here. Why, why am I even subjecting myself to this? But I don't like how social media tends to be very curated about the reality of things, especially people. And since YouTube still is a bit of a social media thing, I feel it's uh, quite important to me to not, you know, pretend things are better than they actually are, uh, or that I'm better than I actually am. So yes, this is currently quite challenging, and I am not having the best of time, or I didn't have the best of time in the last two episodes, so it was late when I recorded, it wasn't a great time. And I'm still not fully grasping all the mechanics here. For example, uh, just so you know, I've, I've been writing down a lot of points into a little notepad file. And I have some things that I think are negative about the game. I have some things that I think are great changes and, and really good. Overall, I'm enjoying Crusader Kings 3 much more than I thought I would, given the, <laughs> given the launch of uh, Rome. Uh, earlier this year and there are a lot of things that I haven't really uh, looked into all that much especially the intrigue and the factions uh, thing so over here with the hooks and secrets there's probably way more options for me to deal with for example factions uh, than I would have otherwise so we are not really looking good right now we're looking at another rebellion uh, due to the crown law and that's something I I think is really bad the whole crown law thing because if you want to prevent people from inheriting outside the uh, realm then yeah <laughs> uh, you have to be on crown law 3 because it's no longer its own option and I, I don't like that uh, so we're gonna instead of dealing with this faction which is clearly over discontent uh, they can send the ultimatum at any time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower the crown authority. And we'll see what happens. Uh, it makes us weaker. But at least there's no opinion modifier and it should put away that faction. I'll, at least if I go and... Okay, no. So, <laughs> I figured that maybe that helps, but now they're probably gonna want to turn it down to one instead of two. Oh my god. What have I done? Oh no, the faction did go away. Did it? No, it didn't. No, the faction went away because they are sending their ultimatum. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't like that. So I preemptively changed the crown authority, which they all, they, they, they didn't knew they could go to this. They didn't know. So I can't revoke titles and I can't retract vassals anymore. And apparently they don't have to provide anything anymore. So, this faction is way stronger than us. We, we do have a chance, so we'll just try fighting this faction, but uh, I, I still think... Even this, I paused it, but for some reason the game started moving again. It's very inconsistent with that, and I also don't like that. But um, enough about me, what about you? <laughs> Let's get our troops up here and involve some mercenaries instantly. I've whined about this being a silly, 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 silly way of showing things before. So I think 
We're gonna go with Pike and Archers. The Austrian company. That way, we have a bunch of troops already and we'll immediately start trying to fight our vassals. Again, they're, they're stronger than us. They're likely to beat us and we lose a whole bunch of money here. So we need to find the big vassals immediately. The ones that are really posing a threat. Over there, our duchy of Lorraine is being murdered by someone else. Can't keep this up financially very long. We have uh, converted another county, so let's make sure he keeps doing his great work there. And of course we don't have anything like that for now. So we can just go meritocracy and give the jobs to the best people. Steward. Don't really have all that many options really. Sadly. <clears throat> well it's better than nothing. Definitely. Like I think the whole fine secret thing is probably something I should use. Uh, a lot more. To get an I get a handle on our vassals. I, I feel that's kinda important, especially if you're weak. Uh, like later you probably don't need to do it anymore. But especially early on when you're really quite weak, then it's important. So I'm already feeling kinda bad because it looks like I will not get to bring my armies to bear anytime soon. Because the enemy just runs away. It, the, the positive thing about them being spread this thin and far apart is that they can't immediately muster a huge army to threaten me but i have to chase them all over the world basically to even get to them and that means i have to pay my troops for a really long time and i don't get to siege anything to make up for the losses i'm incurring here but at least they're coming toward us now so we get to fight a bunch of their troops. Not all of them, mind you. We have wounded... Or we have a wounded knight runner. Alright, our glory is widely known. So we have beaten two fairly big armies now. But it doesn't really do much. Are these guys? Yes, they're always in rebellion. Italians. What can you do? They are not in rebellion for once. That's cool. So, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the whole uh, army splitting thing, and just take everything here. Uh, so we get the greatest possible amount of sieges done, in hopes of getting enough money to. I uh, don't oh know. There's there's another army that we need to face. Big army before I can do the splitting. But that army is running away at a fast pace and it says we're gonna get them, but we're actually not. It's it's kind of weird. I don't I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that either. Okay, so we station besiegers, then we walk over here. He'll come. He'll come, you see. But we need to siege, we need money. So that's what we're gonna do gonna station these smaller armies all across here run a few sieges hopefully get the money uh, let them maybe consolidate their force somewhere ah oh, good stuff we gain a pet doggy and he will be called nosewise because that's a very cute name so we are approaching bankruptcy and we need to siege. This is the reality of this war. Right now we need to siege to steal from our vassals. They are hopefully walking towards Paris. Okay, so we got 22 gold out of that occupation. Let's see if we can't go here. Or maybe even here. Let's go here. They're probably marching on uh, Etomps again, because it's the weakest barony of mine. 
So we'll finish these sieges here, hopefully get some money, and then we woke up fight, face them all at once. Alright. They do have better troops than us. But we need to finish these sieges. They're gonna finish theirs as well. But I won't be too upset with it. Or at least I will try not to be too upset with it. So th this army is done. Let's move it up. Okay. Now we have some money. Let's move north. Everyone immediately. Which is probably a bad idea. To move them like that. And a split. So we don't have all that many more troops than they do. So this might be a bad idea. Let's see what happens. So we are looking at a small loss. Can we get some uh, knights here? And these are all the knights that we already have. He's a bad knight. <laughs> He's not really good. All right. So they're trying to run away, so probably we have a chance. No, we're not. We don't have a chance. And we're looking at a strong loss if we go there. So that's, um, that's bad for us right now. So we will leave the sieges and send the rest up there. No, that's not a good idea. We send everyone there. Because there's another 2,000 coming. Okay, they're coming toward us. But again, we don't have money. So they're coming for us because they know they have reinforcements coming in. Can we do a white piece? Yes. They will barely accept it. Uh, so we'll take the white piece immediately. And there we go. That's the white piece. Disband everyone. And we managed. We didn't need to win. It would have been nicer if we won. But just financially speaking, we couldn't. There was no way for us to uh, to do it. She's a strong vassal with a strong, strong hatred for us as well. These are really in the way. So it cost all our money to do this. He's a strong vassal. Let's see if we can't get a strong vassal here. I feel like... Wait. No. Okay, let's check. Can't I just put anyone here? No. I have to search. That also kind of bothers me. Why can't I just find someone with a good learning and, and a great personality <laughs> to do this? Uh, we can ransom this man. We will definitely do that. And we can imprison all these criminals who will very likely not do it. So let's check the factions again. I lowered the crown authority for no good reason. That's, that's kind of annoying. You know. But right now, we see we have this one guy here who we could revoke his duchy from and I don't see any other disgruntled vassals right now so should we try this it's it's 67% chance that he'll accept it. The faction this character belongs to gets 25 discontent. He might get a rivalry with us. You know what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and search for secrets down here. Um... Duke Constant. Let's find secrets down there.
faction targeting us has been disbanded. Okay, good. So right now we have only these peasant factions. That's that's okay. Can live with that. We have a whole lot of young vassals right now because a lot of the older generation seems to have died. And the culture of Metz changes to France to French. Okay, I I want to do this whole uh, offensive here. I want to have France be French, like all of it, because it helps a whole lot with. Um, of conversion and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn them French <laughs> uh, it, it helps a lot with the inner workings now something about Crusader Kings that I've been neglecting quite a bit um, in in Crusader Kings 3 so far um, no you are going to be this because you're actually really good at that <laughs> bye bye guy um, is securing internal alliances. I haven't done that a lot. Ooh, our mother will be our spy mistress. Very good. Aw, our doggy is good. Thank goodness. Um, securing internal alliances, or at least, you know, making sure that uh, my, my vassals don't go to wars with us. Fresh converts volunteer. What? Fresh converts volunteer. Oh, it's converts, the, the noun, not the not the verb. So it makes a lot more sense now. Um, so we get conf conversion forever over in Brie. Yeah, internal alliances. Um, oh no, we have a bully. These are important to make sure that these factions don't become as strong as they are. And right now we see uh, this guy and these here being very discontent. We are looking for secrets to this guy. And we are close to having that finished, I hope. Okay, now we only found the secret about this uh, this mayor sadly so what do you want you want independence okay so liberty and independence are different so they want to break free they want to be their own thing um, they're discontent at 3% but they have 99% of our military power so what we need to do is get money. Get rich. Someone took a piece here. County of Amiens, our direct vassal. From Lothringia. I don't really have anyone. Well, our cousin could potentially get us an alliance somewhere. Can she? Let's pause. Now these are just clay molds, which isn't bad, but we need an alliance right now. Uh, can she give us an alliance? Like, is she even capable of getting us an alliance with anyone? Let's just check her directly and go through this. No, it looks like there's only there's only claims that she can get us. So let's give her a matrilineal marriage with this guy. So she can propagate our bloodline. You. You give us... What is that? County of Namur. That is uh, not a good one. So our sister... We'll break that betrothal. Uh, there. That betrothal, that's fine. 
We get her. Find her spouse matrilineally. Go for alliance power. I chief of Finland, county, duchy of Lower Lorraine. The duchy of Lower Lorraine is in factions. So by getting this marriage going, we throw that faction a curveball. Securing us an internal alliance. Once they accept anyway. Very good. So now we have an alliance with her and that completely destroys the faction. So you might think, well, internal alliances don't make a lot of sense because, well, they're internal. They are not going to help you, but they help you internally. Oh, no. A never-ending torment that Duke Eormenric subjects me to has got to stop. He teases me mercilessly, pushing me around and humiliating me. This cannot continue. It is time I showed him who he is messing with. We might get wounded. Dread loss, plus 100%. <laughs> okay. And we have gotten wounded by trying to stand up to him. We are a giantess. We should be able to push that kid around. So he's a prince of Bohemia. But for some reason... Oh no, we do have an alliance with them. Alright then. We got all these prisoners, uh, potential prisoners in my realm. Low control in Brie. Is that mine? Is this Brie? Yeah, I think we're working on that. So we could increase this back again at some point. But we'll have to see. For now, we're just trying to control factions as best as we can. Okay, right. So we have uncovered that my vassal Duke Constanti secretly taken my kinswoman as a lover. So now we have the secret on him. So let's check here in intrigue. Books and secrets. So now we have this thing where we can either expose him or we can blackmail for a hook. Which maybe works at some in some way so i think what we'll do right now is um we're gonna send our spy mistress to all these it says there luckily find secrets in duke Upper uh, Burgundy thing. So we, we got a secret on one duke. We'll just find more secrets, hopefully. I would love to replace some of our troops, but... Um, oh, okay, now we have a new faction. So this guy up there. We need to find secrets here now. So... find secrets let's see the faction is probably not very strong right now but oh we get a walking dog which gives us a medium health boost um but as these come of age they will likely start joining factions so we'll need to see what we can do At least one duke who's a member of our house. Our mercenary contract is expiring, which is bad because that lowers our military strength, I believe. So this you need to pay way more attention to than you used to, I think. But that also brings me back to the good and the bad about this game, because I wish I had more information here. 
uh, that I could like put up here and have the game pause for me. Why is this thing? Oh, we get a crush on Duke Charles the second. He usually demands a lot of attention, but I do not mind every time I see him. My day is made better. We are heterosexual. So again, what does this mean? You're Catholic and Italian. Why is your flag like this? All right, so once this truce expires that everyone has with us, we're probably looking again at big, big bad factions. So we hope our spy mistress does a lot of work in that time because we are not financially in any way, shape or form to really deal with anything. But we have more alliances than I thought. We have the Kingdom of Croatia. We have the Duchess internally now and we have this uh, Count or betrothed husband to be who isn't all that great however ah he also only brings 600 troops that's not a lot ah well, well we'll have to see how it works constant torment we will never forgive him he is an adult now Tormenta is one of our dukes it's very smart of him to torment his future queen. I think that's just that's just really, really, really smart. And we're also trying to integrate these uh, de jour titles so they hate us a little less because they are actually de jour part of our kingdom. These are all new mechanics. They didn't exist in such a mechanized way where they actually gain mechanics. Oh cool, we get another bully. Why? She is not catching a break, is she? We are fine. We are a giant and we are wounded. Okay, a Countess is an unbeliever, it doesn't really matter to us. Okay. We'll be patient with our dog, maybe he comes back. So far he hasn't when we tried being patient with him. Nope, he's gone. We still have the walking dog modifier. Which we shouldn't have anymore. But there you see another bug in work. Finally, it's a it's a bug that helps us. Um, what? Um, we have windmills. Very good. Another conversion. Been great. Uh, let us see. Let us see. Let's just send him there. Convert. I really, really like that we have clear indicators of when things are done. That's a really good thing. How old am I anyway? Nine. Yeah, I think we can speed it up a little bit. Our betrothed is already a bearded man. And this is probably one of the most important screens we have in this game. Oh, she was taken prisoner, so now she can't be part of a faction anymore. Good. So these are all out of factionism because they are underage. But as you can see, the second they grow up... Uh, I watched my meticulous sister Anna. They were laughing and leering at her for a while before the pushing began. Despite the mockery, she tried to keep up the lesson until the first blow landed. Oh, 
I still want to protect my little CC. No, no. We're big bullied. We're breaking now. Yes. I'll protect you, Anna. We've gained the trait Brave, but I think uh, we're even more beaten up. We're severely injured now. Let's get to Court Physician. Uh, so we go by age, really, but they're equally aged. Now we go by money. So how do we know that he's a novice physician and this guy is spindly and weak and stuff? Okay, let's let's get this kind of odd looking man. Oof. And we are brave. So it is too late for caution. Maybe we get the permanent injury, but we're going to role play this one. She is brave. Okay. As his assistance began, after having lived through that treatment, I have hard time finding joy in my body's recovery, but I am on the mend. Okay, so we didn't really get successful treatment or anything. So the only person here who will not join a faction is this one because they are a kid. And as you can see, this is filling up again. Um, because the truce has expired. She says she can't find anything. Uh, so let us send her over to this court here in Luxembourg. Counselors. Yeah. And we probably should replace the non-powerful vassals with powerful vassals. So maybe we can kick someone out of a faction. But she's really good. Why is it green though? I wonder, what does that mean? We can replace this guy. He's 11. So he would be much better suited. Does that throw him out of the faction? Yes, takes him out of the faction. So, Duchy of Alasse. That. Oh, it's down here. Yeah, it's down there. So again, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sending you all over the place. We've dealt with the other faction member. Okay, so it says down there, you can prevent the vessel from joining a faction by making them your friend, lover, prisoner, or ally. So, I can't really do anything currently to make them a friend lover or ally or anything so we'll just kind of have to wait and deal with things but such is the life of a young ruler in medieval europe uh i want to circle back to what i uh, said at the beginning of this oh we get a pet cat and she will be called pose because she has paws, which makes sense um i want to circle back to what i said in the beginning because sometimes Oh, lovely. We are no longer severely wounded. We're just wounded. <laughs> uh, because to me, it's it's important to acknowledge weakness just as much as strength. And yeah, life is difficult. And I don't know you guys watching this. I know some of you and I love some of you very dearly. So uh, <laughs> I obviously have nothing but the best of hopes for you. Call to war. Asian du jour war for Bosnia as an attacker. I think we will. And where do we raise our troops down here? And we do the. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why is the game. Stop. Stop running game. So we'll get the Manganels. We'll get the Bowman. And Pike. And uh, we get a Knight or two. 
like our worst knights maybe oh you know what knights we're gonna get let's check our factions uh Uh, let's check our knights. You are in a faction? You are in a faction? Just this guy is also in a faction. This guy goes. This guy doesn't go. And this guy goes. We'll send all our dukes. Even the one who isn't... Now nah, we have a secret on him. That's fine. So we select this. And... Put in M and we move that army over here, and we'll take that other army, that other army, that army there. Yes, thank you. We'll disband them so we still earn some money, but we also send some supplies, right? So Life is hard and difficult, and things aren't always great, and I'm not always great, and sometimes I feel it's probably best, if you like someone, to see them in a bad way too. Oh, would you look at that? This guy's a sodomite. So that means to me now, factions, this guy here, we can blackmail him. Over his lover or the sodomite. Let's go with the sodomite first. Well, then. Now we have a hook here. But this is an act of tyranny. This is also an act of tyranny, so the hook doesn't do anything really, it just made him mad. It just made him a little bit more mad. Well, that's that's not useful then. Um, let's send her to find secrets. Over in Upper Burgundy. Because if you see someone that you like having a bad time and you feel like you're constantly having a bad time too and you don't really get out of your head anymore. And I think that's good. Another Croatian war, we're already there so why not help? Um Okay, so the Duchess hates us. Let us talk about how you've been ha behaving. This is a diplomacy challenge and this is a martial challenge. What are we better at? Neither. It's a coin toss, really. Let's go with a diplomacy challenge here. Stop bullying us. Right, I'm constantly getting... Um, <laughs> distracted from trying to say what I'm trying to say. Let's try not get caught here. Oh, 
our little crush likes our little cat you know let's go here that way we can at least siege because i don't think we're gonna do anything good against the byzantine empire or pieces of the byzantine empire anyway Croatia might just have to get absorbed. Oh no no, we have a kitten. I don't want our cat and dog to fight, so we'll give the doggy over to our dear sister. So we become trusting or content or fickle. Hostile scheme resistance, plus 20%. Brave and fickle, that sounds great. Brave, fickle, giantess. Whoops. I didn't think there would be enemies here, but... Uh, well, I guess I'm wrong. Which isn't all that bad, because we have a bunch of people that are in factions fighting in this war, so... Yep, that's one less. He died on the battlefield. That's also one way of dealing with factions. Well, we could have raised our troops down here. I am a fool. So let's stand them down. We have done all we could do. Literally. A faction was created against us. But that is... Who are you and why are you? Stop! I don't like how the game just keeps going in the background. That, that really irritates me. Ah... Fully embraced French tradition. Stop moving, game. Stop it. We join Lower Lorraine. Okay, we are at, we are joining our vassal here. Over this. I mean, okay. I'm willing to help here. I'm willing to help. And again, we're gonna try our split thing we want the mangonels we want pike and bow and we want the people in faction so let's check who is still in the faction this red stripey guy this one this one and he will be the only one and We'll put him in charge. Let's see, can I even siege here? Oh, we'll try. I'm constantly getting thrown off track. I want to say very profound things here, but it's not working. <laughs> Ow. I accidentally raised everyone. Okay, fine. We'll just do the sieging thing then. Yeah, point being, it's very good sometimes to see that life isn't just all roses and peaches for everyone. And you are having a legitimately bad time. And it's fine to have a bad time. And it doesn't reflect badly on you if you have a bad time, a hard time. It's just part of life. Everyone has that. And yeah. Our cat brought us gold. Thank you, kitty. Just have to siege enough to make it worth our while monetarily speaking. The more we can besiege in Lothringia. Oh, it looks like they already done it. Unless we ship over, which we're not gonna. Oh no. That is unacceptable. But this was done. Now we only lost money so far. Actually gotten anything. Because we're still in these wars down in the south. Seven months until they will go home. We'll just walk down here 
and attack Genoa in their homeland everywhere. Siege all that. And I'll pause for a moment and talk. It's not really what you're here for, but that's what you get tonight. Um, yeah. Having a display of people that you kind of care for or enjoy engaging with, seeing that they also struggle with life, I feel that's helpful. And that's why I don't pull those episodes. I could just re-record them. You probably wouldn't really know it. I could throw out the voice and I just talk over it again. Uh, but I don't like that. I like being somewhat genuine in all this, even though it's uh, terrible <laughs> in terms of social media privacy and stuff, but damn it. Such is life. So thank you very much for being in this disjointed rambly episode with me today. And I hope to talk to you soon or see you soon or hear from you soon uh do comment i like answering comments sometimes if they're nice <laughs> even well who who likes not nice things let's be honest here uh the only reason why people on youtube say if you didn't like it give it a dislike is because to youtube it doesn't matter a like or a dislike is equally engagement and that's all they're they're trying to figure out are people engaged and if you have a dislike then yeah clearly you're engaged in some way you don't like it but that doesn't matter the the qualifier means nothing to youtube they're going to promote a disliked video just as much as a liked video so i know that there are some videos of mine that are disliked um or that have dislikes which I mean, doesn't mean anything nobody watches this uh in in great numbers Okay, yeah, let's have her disrupt schemes again. So yeah, thank you very much for being here, for joining me. And we'll see how our little war here in the south for our ally Croatia is going to work out. Thanks for watching. See you around. Bye-bye.